Hi, this is Mr. Blanco coming to you with a short lesson on comma splices. Now a comma splice is when you use a comma to join or splice, to splice means to join, two independent clauses or two groups of words that can stand alone as sentences. Take a look at these two clauses, two sentences. Jerry was an excellent musician, comma, he was not accepted to Juilliard. Now, Jerry was an excellent musician is independent. It can stand alone. It doesn't need anything else. You can put a period there. He was not accepted to Juilliard is also an independent clause. But the writer, in this case me, joined these two clauses with a comma. That's called a comma splice. Don't do that. In standard written English, we do not use comma splices. We don't use commas to join two independent clauses. What do we do? Well, the easiest thing to do is to put a period here and capitalize that H. That's easy. You make two complete sentences. No brain power there. Try not to do that either. Another thing that you could do is use a semicolon, which is pretty much the same thing, except now you don't have a comma splice. You are joining the two clauses with a semicolon. Easy schmeasy. Now, the best thing to do is to look for a word that establishes a relationship between the two clauses, right? Now look, if Jerry was an excellent musician, logically he should have been accepted to Juilliard. That's what we would expect. But there is an inherent contrast in the clauses. So we look for a relationship word, also called a transition, or a conjunction that establishes the relationship. Take a look at this. Jerry was an excellent musician, semicolon, however, comma, he was not accepted to Juilliard. The semicolon, however, comma, eliminates the comma splice, and more importantly, establishes the relationship between the two clauses. We can use although, which is called a subordinating conjunction. This is a coordinating, this is, I'm sorry, a conjunctive adverb, and this is a subordinating conjunction. Although Jerry was an excellent musician, comma, right? He was not accepted to Juilliard. This is correct. Although Jerry was an excellent musician, that's not independent. You need something else to complete that idea. And the although tells you, right? So this is another way. The last way is by using a coordinating conjunction. One of the fanboys. But, Jerry was an excellent musician, comma, but he was not accepted to Juilliard. These words, ladies and gentlemen, establish contrast between the two clauses. And that's a good thing. You want to make things easy for your reader. Not hard. It's hard enough to read. Spend a little time writing clearly, and your reader will understand everything you need to convey. Thank you.